Bonjour à toutes et à tous. Hello everybody and welcome to Bugatti's headquarters in Molsheim, France in 2022. It was exactly 20 years ago that I set foot on the Molsheim premises for the very first time. The atelier was already finished, but a huge empty space. They were just installing the lifters. Today, 20 years later, as CEO of Bugatti Rimats and president of Bugatti Automobile, I'm very proud to celebrate with you a record number of 150 order intakes and 80 deliveries for the year 2021. We have set the path for a promising future through the new shareholder structure and leadership. The Chiron, our second model after the Veyron, is sold out. Both model lines were powered with the iconic 8 liters W16 engine, the technically most advanced powertrain of the first 20 years of this century. Never before in Bugatti's modern history did we offer a wider spectrum of performance. On the one hand, there is the Bugatti Chiron Supersport, Bugatti's ultimate Grand Tourism with the fastest production car in the world with a top speed limited to 440 km per hour. On the other hand, we have the Chiron Pure Sport, a true pure sound des automobiles, yearning for corners and the most agile modern era Bugatti. The base for this variety was laid by Stefan Winkelmann, who has been Bugatti's president from January 2018 to November 2021. He gave us a lot of new ideas, led us to greater profitability and expanded the dealer network. Under his leadership, Bugatti redefined modern days coach building with the Divo, La Voiture Noire and the Cento Deci. Through the Cento Deci, he also reintegrated the Compo Galliano era fully into the Bugatti history a legitimate and highly necessary move as the EB110 in the 1990s definitely set the technological path for the Veyron. I would really like to thank him for that. This diverse portfolio helped to gain a lot of new customers, thus creating a strong base for our future. With around 150 highly skilled technicians, finance, sales and logistic experts working in Molsheim, Bugatti has become an important regional economic factor, attracting tourism, proudly engaged himself in the regional activities such as the Bugatti Festival de Molsheim, celebrating the anniversary of Ettore Bugatti's birthday on September 15. We are looking back with pride to our achievement of the past 20 years and especially of those of the last two years during which we adapted fast to the COVID-19 related challenges and became more and more profitable. We would like to thank everyone supporting us to get where we are today. The entire Bugatti team, our partners, our customers, the media, the authorities, our fans, and the many Bugattisti who helped and helped keeping the brand legend alive and beloved. I would like now to ask Hendrik Malinowski to give you a more detailed look on the last year's activities. Thank you, Hendrik. As I said earlier, Bugatti has undergone some profound changes during this year. Changes to set the path for a long-standing and promising future. We have entered into a joint company with one of the most talented innovators and entrepreneurs in Europe. He won numerous awards in electronics competitions already at the age of 17 and thus lives up to our founder, Ettore Bugatti, who registered his first patent also at the same age. Matte Rimaz, the founder of Rimaz Automobili and CEO of the new company Bugatti Rimaz.